once the papers really put something which is inaccurate, there's nothing you can do to contradict it. I mean, if they say you've been brave or bold, and you say you haven't been brave or bold, then they say uh, how uh, modest you are. So you can't win anymore, you've just got to let it run. So what sort of person do you think you are? I think I'm just an ordinary human being who likes helping other people. I mean, I, I, I saw when I was in Prague in '38 what the problem was, and as I believe that nothing which is blatantly impossible can be done, I tried to do it. And what everybody thought was blatantly impossible was to get a permit for the children to come into England. And in fact, that was the least problem. The Home Office made no problems about bringing in the children, provided I could fulfill their conditions. And it was really that nobody before had asked the Home Office whether it could be done. Had you gone there with any preconceived idea of what might happen or what you might have to do? No, I went there with a friend of mine who was sent by the British Committee of Refugees from Czechoslovakia to see what the committee out there were doing in bringing out those people who were endangered if the Germans arrived, and that was the elderly people. And uh, in seeing what, was, what they were doing and then going round the camps, one could see, you know, how, how desperate the situation was for many people. And there was nobody I met out there. Well, of course, I was in the wrong milieu for meeting the other type of people, perhaps. But I was with nobody out there who thought other than that the Germans would come in at any moment. How many children did you actually save from the Nazis? I think on my list there were about uh, 670 children. In fact, there were more because they, my list wasn't complete and numbers of children who were on my transport uh, kind of getting in touch with me now who weren't on my list. I suppose we're in touch with about 150. What do you think of Holocaust, Holocaust Day in particular? The only thing I think about Holocaust Day in particular is that it hasn't got an S at the end. The Holocaust now is uh, a word directed directly at the Germans and that we haven't got a word left over to deal with the Russian Holocaust and the Pol Pot Holocaust and uh, the South African Holocaust. I think it's good that Holocausts should be remembered, but that it should Holocaust Day should be connected forever with entirely one country, all well, that that Holocaust may be the worst of all, I think is completely wrong. Some people who would go out of their way, as you did, to rescue other human beings would put it down to some kind of religious faith. What's your faith, if you have one? Well, I, I, I can't give you any opinion on what other people think. I don't think doing good has got anything to do with religion. Do you have a religious faith? No. Sir Nicholas Winton, thank you very much for your time. Yes, sir. Yes, it's Tom Schrecker. S-C-H-R-E-C-K-E-R. -E -E Cast your mind back, if you can. What were your first, very first memories of when you met Nicky? Well, I didn't meet Nicky till about 1993 or 4. Um... And uh, I, met him, I met him through Vera Gissing, who was another one of the children who has written a book called The Pearls of Childhood. And she lives quite uh, close to Nicky, and um, she arranged for me to, 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 to have lunch with him. And that was in 1993. And you were one of the children that Nicky managed to move out of Czechoslovakia? Yes, I, I came out, I think there were, well, there were, as you know, 669 approximately, and uh, I think there were eight, tr eight trains altogether. I think I was on about the 5th, which was, I think, the 2nd of June, uh, 1939, and I think there were about 150 children on that train. I was seven, I was a very precocious seven, so yes, I remember, the, I remember the, 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 you know, the journey pretty well. We came via the Hook of Holland, and uh, as I say, I was quite precocious. I remember I got off the ship, I checked when they were leaving, I got off the ship and went into town and bought myself some chocolates and things and came back and there was a big uproar because they couldn't find me. I, I thought this was, a, like many of the children, especially perhaps the younger ones, um, this was a great adventure. 
Croatia. We all thought we were going off on a holiday. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the idea that we wouldn't see our parents again didn't occur, uh, probably occur to us. And uh, my mother was killed in Auschwitz, but my, my father fortunately survived the war, so I, I was very lucky. He's a very modest man, Sir Nicholas. Do you think he's right to be modest? Uh, well, I, I, at first, I, I'm never quite sure whether, I mean, he is modest, but I think, um, I, I see it perhaps slightly differently. I think that to him, he, it was something that just came naturally. I think he felt that this was something that, that you, he just did normally.